What is up, everybody? We are back here at King Film Sports for the NFL Week 17 playoff picture analysis and predictions video coming up to the last two weeks of the NFL regular season. Where has the time gone? But also, we have increased drama and excitement surrounding which teams will make the playoffs. Lots of teams still alive. So we start out here in the AFC, where amongst the top three teams, we did not see much change. The Bills won handily against the Bears, keeps them at 12-3 and three and in line for the number one seat and first round bye. Then you have the number two seed Chiefs, who will need the Bills to slip up over the last two weeks and then to win out uh, to get the number one seed. Then the Bengals get their win against the Patriots. Reminder that they play at home this week on Monday Night Football against the Bills. Uh, if they win out and then the Chiefs lose one of their last two, then the Bengals will have the number one seed. The big change, though, is that the Jags are now in first place in the AFC South. Yes, the Titans have lost five straight games now. The Titans were 7-3, and three, uh, and the Jaguars have won three straight. So the Jaguars now at 7-8 and eight leading the division. Then the Ravens still in it at 10-5. and five. They control their own destiny. They play the Steelers this week and then the Bengals next week. So if they win out, they will be the number three seed at least. And then you've got the Chargers at 9-6 and six who have clinched the playoffs with their win against the Colts. And then obviously all the drama for that 7th seed, the 3rd wildcard spot. You have the Dolphins who are at 1.8-3, and three, now 8-7. and seven, 4 straight losses and Tua and concussion protocols, so we'll see. They play the Patriots and Jets the final 2 weeks. Those are not easy games. You see in the down but not out category. The Patriots and Jets, they were both multiple games above 500 at points this year and have now fallen below 500 at 7 and 8 but still very much alive then you've got the titans at 7 and 8 uh they will still control their own destiny because they can play the jaguars in week 18 for a division championship in the afc south then you've got the steelers who are picking up steam they play the ravens this week on sunday night football and then the browns last week so they could potentially make it if they went out and get some help and then the raiders at 6 and 9 still not eliminated but that was a very detrimental loss this last week to the Steelers. Now we get to the NFC where we didn't see that much change, but there was a big loss by the Eagles uh, in Dallas without Jalen Hurts. I thought they actually played very well, but they did end up blowing a lead late in the fourth quarter. Cowboys end up winning that game. So the Eagles could have locked up the division and the number one seed in the NFC, but they failed to do so there. So they'll have to win one of their last two games to do that. Then we've got the Vikings again narrowly escaping, holding on to that number two seed, and they still could pick up the one seed if they went out and the Eagles lose out. Then you've got the Niners, who had already clinched the NFC West, but are looking to advance to the two seed or maybe even the one seed, and they had a great win against the Commanders. Then the four seed Buccaneers holding on. They finally get a win against the lowly Cardinals, took a double-digit fourth quarter comeback, but they do end up doing that. Then you've got the Cowboys, who are still alive for that number one seed uh, and the NFC East title, they would have to win out and have the Eagles lose out uh, and then have the Vikings lose a game uh, to get the number one seed there. Then the Giants at 8-6-1. and one. They could have punched their ticket to the playoffs with a win this week in Minnesota. That evaded them, but they are still looking in great playoff shape because all of the other teams basically lost that are going for a playoff spot. So you get down to the Commanders at 7 seed. They lost in San Francisco, but hold on to their seed at 7-7-1 seven, seven and one there. The Seahawks lose to the Chiefs, and the Seahawks at one point were 6-3, and three, I believe, now down to 7-8, and eight, so that is not good for them. The Lions were one of the hottest teams in football, then went to Carolina and just got dominated on the ground. And then the Packers were once 4-8, and eight, have won three straight, and if they can win out, reminder that they played the Vikings and Lions, all they need is a commander's loss to make the playoffs. Then you have the Panthers and Saints, who are 6-9 and nine right now, and... Both look good to make the playoffs if they can win out. The Panthers play the Bucks this week, so if they can win that, then they can control their own destiny. So now we get to my playoff predictions, and here are my picks for Week 17. Reminder that I have a video this week explaining my reasoning for all these picks as well as betting locks. But here is how it affects the AFC playoff picture. So at the number one seed, we have the Chiefs, who beat the Broncos at home, get to 13-3, and 
But more impactfully, if the Bills lose in Cincinnati, I have the Bengals winning that one on Monday night. The Bengals hop up to the two seed. The Bills fall from the one seed down to the three seed. So that will be a monumental game in terms of AFC playoff picture. But for now, I have the Bengals winning at home. Let me know in the comments who you think will win that game there. Then in the fourth seed, I have the Jags holding on to it as they beat Houston on the road. Then in terms of the fifth seed, I have the Ravens being the Steelers, which effectively eliminates the Steelers from playoff contention and puts the Ravens in the fifth slot. Then you've got the Chargers at the sixth seed winning against their hometown rival. And then the Dolphins, I have them finally getting back into the victory column, but I'm not sure as of right now going into New England in frigid temperatures, are they even going to have Tua in that game? Lots of question marks there. Then we get to the NFC where we've got the Eagles finally punching the number one seed home uh, with a win against the Saints. Not sure if Jalen Hurts is going to play, but I just think that they're a superior team anyway. Then I have the Niners hopping up to the number two seed. They win in Las Vegas, and Minnesota loses in Green Bay. So Green Bay's playoff hopes are still very much alive. Then I have the Panthers getting the win in Tampa Bay. So now they vault up to the number four seed and the NFC South leader heading into the final week. Then you've got the Cowboys winning on Thursday Night Football at the Titans 12-4. Then the Giants clinch the playoffs with an easy victory against the Colts. Then the Commanders hold on to the 7th seed with a win at home versus Cleveland. So that is how it turns out after this week. Then we get to what happens after week 18 and my official current playoff picture predictions. So here we have the number one seed Kansas City Chiefs. They win in Las Vegas and go to 14-3 and three there. Then I have the number two seed Bengals at 13 and four, beating the Ravens in an AFC North championship game. So if the Ravens were to win that game, then they would hop up to the three seed and win the AFC North. But I have the Bengals winning that at home. Then I have the Bills getting up to 13 and four with a win against New England at home. And then in an AFC South championship, I have the Jacksonville Jaguars defeating the Tennessee Titans, getting up to nine and eight and streaking into the playoffs. Then the Chargers, I have them at 11-6 and six with a win in Denver. Then I have the Ravens, as I mentioned, losing to the Bengals at the 6th seed at 11-6. And, and then I have the Dolphins at 10-7 and seven winning against the Jets. And I must mention that if the Jets were to win this game in Miami, they would actually take the 7th seed. But I do have the Dolphins winning that one as it stands. Then the Eagles, I think they're going to rest their players against the New York Giants at home. So I think they go down to 14-3. And then the Niners, I have them staying at the two seed, winning at home against the Cardinals. Vikings winning at the Bears at the three seed, 13-4. and four. And then I have the Panthers closing out the NFC South with a win in New Orleans. Then at the five seed, Dallas. This game is very pointless to them because they cannot improve their seed against the Commanders. So I think they'll rest their players in Washington. So I think they'll lose that one. And as I mentioned, Giants win against the resting Eagles to get up to 10-6-1, hold on to the 6th seed. And then the Commanders hold on to the 7th seed with their win at home versus Dallas. And if they were to lose that game, then I would have the Packers making the playoffs because in this video, I've had them winning at home against the Vikings and then at home against the Lions. But it's just not enough because I do also have the Commanders winning out. But if the Commanders were to slip up, I do see the Packers making the playoffs at this point. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think will happen over the last two weeks. Let me know how your playoff picture deviates from mine in the comments down below. And I will see you all in the next one.